morning. So I'm just going to invite you to join me in giving her a warm welcome. She is the... Family! How's everybody tonight? Good, I'm so sleepy. I've been up since two this morning. You know, I run this great restaurant and I have to get up and it's, thank you. It's pretty much a lot of fresh food. I don't do canned goods and frozen food. So that means I run out every day. I gotta get in there and chop and prep every day. So, but I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Um, Anyway, you all look lovely. Well, make sure you look lovely. Let me see. Oh, you look lovely. Anyway, you know, I used to, I used to, I used to jump on the floor and do push-ups. Then I had hand surgery, so I can't do my six. I, I always did push-ups. I'm almost 67. I'll be 67 in December. So, oh well, thank you. So, so what I was trying to do was make sure that I could do a push-up for each year, okay? But then I had carpal tunnel surgery and triggered finger surgery and triggered thumb surgery because I work, I'm a workaholic, so I just overdo everything. But, so now I'm back up to just 25 push-ups. So I could do 25 push-ups for you. Would you like to see? Did somebody say no, they don't want to see? I think I can do 25, but you got to count with me. All right, so, so you're going to count for me? All right, here goes. All right, let's go. Ready? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys are fast. Did I say 25? No, I did not. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. All right. And so I used to sing the Star Spangled Banner. But people be getting on their knees now, and I, I just don't know if that's a good song to sing. I don't want all y'all to jump on your knees if I start singing that song. So what should I sing? How about America the Beautiful? And if I mess up on the lyrics, I'll just ad lib. Okay, but I'm winded now. Give an old lady a break. Okay, so here goes. I think I remember this. Oh, you're the timer person. It's you. Let me hurry up. Oh, beautiful, poor space guys. No. Okay. Let's see if I can get this done. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber ways of grain. Is that right? For purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plains. America, America, God. Shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from a sea to shining sea. That's it. So she up here messing with my coconut oil. Now y'all know, I was like, come on now. Did you have to bring up the coconut oil like that? 
Anyway, I use coconut oil all over, but I eat it too. You know, I guess I've just been lucky. Anyway, but yeah, coconut oil is the best for your skin. I use it. Some people call me shiny sometimes. I'm so full of coconut oil. But tonight, did they tell you what, what I was prepping tonight? Does anybody know? They didn't tell you? It's not in the book? Huh? I don't know the page. I haven't even seen the book. But, but, <laughs> You guys are wonderful. I love, I love y'all. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. I decided I was going to do, one day I woke up and I said, how about I just make a stuffing to stuff veggies? And so that's what I did. I wanted to use some tempeh. I love portobello mushrooms. You guys eat mushrooms? Is it okay? Mushrooms okay? Mushrooms? Don't you love these beautiful little sweet, colorful peppers? I put those in there. Got a little cilantro. It may not be on the recipe, but I'm putting it in there today. Got some green onion, zucchini. Page 21. Go to page 21. Okay, so you guys are going to be able to sample this, this dish. And so what I decided to do was I'm going to take, I've got about two cups of tempeh. I know this is two cups because this only holds two cups. Tempeh. Tempeh is like a, a fermented soy, so it's good stuff. She, she, she'll give you a thumbs up on that. So I've got, uh, and what I did with my portobello mushroom, now some people will leave the quills in. I, I took the quills out, <laughs> but I used them. I mean, the quills are supposed to kind of taste, have that little dirty taste, but I always ate the quills, so I like the dirty taste. But I decided to take the, the quills out for you guys tonight. So, but they're not really out because they're in this. So anyway, so that, that's, that's the stem of the mushroom and the quills in my tempeh. So how about we put about a cup and a half of green onion and some of these beautiful peppers. No, baby, it's those little sweet. Did you catch it? You didn't catch it? You did pretty good, though. Yeah, there was a fast pepper. Now look, catch this pepper. It went in her chest! <laughs> good catch, good catch, good catch. <laughs> I know, huh? Okay. So this is about one cup of cilantro. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it did that. Okay, so she talked about my salt. Look, I should have been first, <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a little sea salt, and I love Bragg's liquid amino. So this is normally my salt, and what I do, since it's so concentrated, I water it down. So I always add water. So tonight, since she dogged me out like that, <laughs> I'm going to put a little brags on this. Just a little. This is some Mexican seasoning, and it's by Frontier. That's what. Now, I love this no-salt seasoning. I get it. It's, it's organic. It's Kirkland's. I get it from Costco. You guys use it? I love it. I just absolutely love it. So we're going to put about a tablespoon of that in there. And what else? What else does a recipe say? Somebody talk to me. What does it say? Brag, a little white. What, what else? Did it say tomatoes? Are you sure? Forget the tomatoes. Forget the tomatoes. Just forget about the tomatoes. <laughs> okay, so you mix it all up, and then you have yourself some type of little hot pan. And I know you guys know how to, um, what do you call that stuff, saute stuff? So we just put it in here. It's supposed to be more mixed up because this is going to be our stuffing, right? This is our stuffing, and it's going to be amazing. So you add a little bit of water. They gave me water up here. Look, you could, if you don't have rings, just cut yourself some pepper. All right, so put a little water in there to let that saute a little bit. And this is the fun part to me. So what I did was, 
Did they show you any pictures on this? Any pic No pictures? What? <laughs> All right, so look. You know you want to clean your heirloom tomato, and you want to take the top off, and then you want to kind of gut it. Yeah, uh-huh. Just pull that out of there like that. You don't be the star. Just do this. Just do this recipe and just do all these stuffed vegetables like I'm doing right now. So, now, hey, then you could take the tomato. This is where the tomato would come in, and you cut, you just dice it, and you put it in here. So tomato is true after you do that. Now, how about this? You can either cut it this way or you can cut it this way. We're going to cut it this way. Cut it this way, and you deseed it, and you put yourself a little, um, I put a little oil in there. Bam. We only need one, actually. Ain't no coconut oil, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't put no coconut oil in there. I might get jacked. <laughs> Look at, can you see her with a little cape on? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Use some olive oil, honey. <laughs> All right, so what I did was, this is a russet. And you know, organic is always key. Come on, y'all know. If you can find organic, just do the organic. I mean, we trust in them. If you ain't growing your own food, you got to trust them. So I trust them a little bit better with organic. All right? And if you can't get organic, go to... Um, Go to a Home Depot and get you some organic seeds and start growing some. <laughs> All right, so I like to put potatoes in this, in this recipe. As a matter of fact, I did today for, for, for what you're going to sample. So you just take, take just, yeah. Just a, this is cooked already because it had to be soft enough for me to be able to do this, right? So we got that there. I'm going to put that there. We could put a little bit of potato in the, in the um, sour cream I'm going to blend up for you. Anyway, we'll put that over there. And quills out, bam. All right, so that's the only thing you have to do with this, right? And if you, if you rinse these off, you have to be careful with mushrooms because they're like sponges, right? If you get them too wet, they just get all strange and, and stuff, so. Dirty, it tastes dirty. I like that dirty flavor. <laughs> anyway, so now look. Portobello mushroom, russet potato, What's this? And? So we're going to pretend this is cooked. It's cooked. <laughs> what? What y'all do? Look, you see? Little boy up there with a timer. He's like, lady, you better hurry up. You got 29 minutes. Do what you're going to do in 29 or get off the stage. OK. So then we stuff our bell pepper. Are you smiling at me? <laughs> and then we stuff our potato. Look at that. And then we stuff this big old mushroom. But then, then it, it's not going to be complete because all you got is just a little stuffing in there, right? So we need something on top, right? Don't you think? I think so. So let's see if we could play with the blender. Now, I bought my blender bottom and left my blender top at the restaurant. And so they had to give me a top. So this has probably not been washed. But we're going to pretend that it has. <laughs> so this is almond milk. Any non-dairy milk. I just don't do dairy. I don't mess with animals. I let them live their life. And I live my life. <laughs> live and let live. That's my motto. OK, so then we want to take Two cups of cashews. I think that's what I'm doing right now. Two cups of cashews. What does it say? Well, we ain't using three right now. Y'all going to use three when you do this recipe at home. And then this is miso. You hip to miso? Miso. Miso. Anyway, so we're going to put some miso in there. And if you don't know what miso is, don't ask me because I forgot right now. No, it's just some more soy stuff. And then I just put the rest of the brags in there. Say, what, ooh, what, huh? They, oh, 
Y'all know you gotta soak your nuts, right? Do, do you understand why you have to soak your nuts? One person, tell me why you have to soak your nuts. Say what? You are so adorable, no. You soak the nuts because the nuts have enzyme inhibitors and they're difficult to digest. So if you soak the nut, it releases the enzyme inhibitors and then it's a much easier food to digest. So we're gonna put a little potato in this. Yeah, just throw you some potatoes in that. Just have a good time with this. All right, what else do I have for this? We got, how about some no salt seasoning? Yeah, that's a good idea. How about a little bit of um, some more of this Mexican seasoning? I don't know if this was supposed to be this color. I don't think it was, but guess what? We're going to put a little lemon juice in there. This is almost is sounding like a concoction, ain't it? I know y'all lost. Like, what? And just the hair of it's not sugar, it's agave nectar. Just a little bit. She went first. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Yes, I got you. Oh, how about some um, follow your heart mozzarella cheese? Let's just put a little of that in there. Is that on the recipe? Yeah. It is? Y'all yeah. know I, 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 the, doing recipes is just a trip. You know that? Because really when you're creating, you ain't trying to write stuff down. I've been trying to put out a recipe book for 10 years. <laughs> huh? I know, you know, you feel my pain, don't you? Mm. Yes, thank you, I'm glad somebody understands. You know what I did one time when I first started doing these, <laughs> these classes? I had a turmeric dish and I had on all white. <laughs> and of course I forgot to put the lid on. And I was all yellow when I got done. Wait a minute, so Tara, did you plug it in? On. It's not supposed to be brown. I put all that other stuff in there, but anyway, it's going to be good, right? Because what I was supposed to do, I think... All right. So we try to blend this until it's smooth. All right, I can see myself. Actually, you guys, you want to do this. No, I'll just do it this way. All right, be quiet. You want to blend it until it's creamy, until it's smooth, actually, okay? But for the sake of time, because little man is sitting there looking at me with that, with that, with that computer. I'm the time guy. All right, so actually what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to do this. This was supposed to be first, okay? Got it? So you wanna do that. Ooh, and to make it extra special, do this. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm about to do. So then you take a little of this and stick it down in there like that. And then you take this and you stuff it. And then you take more of this and you put it on top. Then you take more of this. <laughs> then you cover it up and you put it in the oven and wait for this cheese to melt and you will be in heaven. I promise all of you. Anyway, so that's, that's that with that. Now, you know, a lot of times people make a really big deal out of cooking, but it really ain't that big a deal, right? Prep, you wanna prep. That's what's more important than anything because what people do is they go out and they spend a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of different stuff and then it sits in the refrigerator and you don't know what to do with it and it goes bad before you can get to it. So I'm going to tell you the, the vegetables that I use almost every single day and I make so many dishes using these same vegetables and it's just about having them prepped and ready to go. 
bell pepper every day, green onion every day. Uh, uh. No, why y'all trying to tell me what I use every day? <laughs> did you hear? Did y'all? Did you hear that? Just telling me now. You know you use that every day. No, no, really green. Uh, 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 cilantro's in the house every day, green onion every day, bell pepper every day, red onion, I love red onion, you guys like red onion, nice sweet flavor, good red, a good red onion, yeah. Um, I love to have chopped kale in the house and I love shreds, I always have beets, I always have broccoli shreds, I don't throw my broccoli stems away, you throw your bro broccoli stems away, you shred them, you do something with them, right? Yeah, eat those things, that's food. Um, Carrots, you guys eat carrots. Let me tell you what I do with a carrot. I'm gonna act like I can see. So, so if you juice carrots, you make sure that you clean the carrot really, really good, and then you take the pulp and make yourself some untuna. How's that? Now let me just tell you what you do with that. You clean the carrot real good, peel it, whatever, you juice it, then you get that pulp and you get yourself some Veginase, uh, follow your heart, veginase, and a little vinegar. Um, how about some caraway seeds and some celery seeds? You can chop up celery, you can chop up green onion, bell pepper, and you put that mayo in there with a little bit of that agave nectar, and it gives, it gives you that vibe like you got the sweet pickle, the sweet relish taste. Lord. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, that's your untuna. Clap. I just gave you a recipe. All right, so how about some dessert? How about some dessert? I can't, I can't show you the dessert. I'm a mess up here. Look at me. My blender's all dirty with this stuff. So do I just tell you the dessert and then you just go out there and eat it? Okay. So this is what I'm doing with the dessert. I decided I normally use just some chocolate pudding. I normally use coconut oil. Little bit of agave nectar. You guys hip to um, uh, cacao butter? Now, do you know how phenomenal cacao butter is? Uh, say, for instance, for soaked cashews, if you want some white chocolate, does everybody know what to do with that? No? Oh, you're gonna love me tonight. Let me tell you, you melt the cacao butter. Melt the cacao butter. Because it's very, it, it, gets, it solidifies. But mm, pass it around. But don't spit in it, just smell it. Okay. So, you melt the cacao butter. You want some agave nectar. You want some cacao powder. All this stuff is organic, yes. And agave nectar, cacao powder, a little coconut oil, a little sea salt, and some non alcoholic organic vanilla. And you and um, healthy fat, avocado. Don't throw your avocados away when they get dark. Make chocolate pudding, okay? I should really show you this, huh? I should blend it up? Well, who's gonna clean the blender? I know. <laughs> Let's send him out to clean the blender. So actually, I just need this taken out of here, and I'm going to whip you up some, ch some chocolate pudding. But seriously, and also, you can take your bright green avocado. Oh, did you like lemon meringue? You take your, your beautiful bright green. These are too dingy, but you want the bright green avocado, just ripe avocado. You want coconut oil, <laughs> some lemon, uh, agave nectar, a little sea salt, vanilla. You blend that up. <laughs> yes. 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 I just saw you out here. Just want to come and give you a hug. <laughs> Anyway, not you. 
But <laughs> I'm serious. You just, you just taste on it. So like, say for instance, you three avocado, about a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, <laughs> enough lemon juice so that it's nice. It's got that nice lemon meringue tart kind of vibe to it. Um, your agave nectar and your sea salt and your vanilla, and I promise you, you will be, you'll be like Chef Babette. Yes! So that's how many recipes so far? Carrot on tuna. Your, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the chocolate. I gave you that messy thing right there, and I'm, you guys are going to taste it all, and as soon as they come back with the blender, and then you can go out there and eat. And I still, I'm only at 16 minutes. I don't have nothing left to do. I don't know. I don't know how to dance. I sing. I'm a chef. I'm not really a chef. They started calling me chef. I don't even hold a knife right, really. I just answer to it. Yeah, chef. Hmm. All right. Thank you, baby. All right. So here we go. You turn your head. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Little sea salt. I don't have no vanilla, don't matter. So we're gonna put the avocado in there. And what y'all do with my um my my It's probably dirty and nasty. What y'all do? Give me my stuff back. Where is it? You been sticking your fingers in it? Did you smell it? Did you like it? All right. Well, it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be melted. But you don't have to put this in here. But, oh, maybe I'm confused. So well, let's just put this in here. Ooh, ooh, that's a lot, huh? How about a little water? It's not supposed to be water. Should be non-dairy milk. I'm all out. Let's pretend it's milk. What? Did somebody say something? <laughs> you got it, baby. Page two nine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. You can go eat. What did I call this? Y'all don't know? <laughs> they said filling. Yeah, man. How is it? Say something. Say something. Told you. All right, so I'm done. Ah. So everybody stand up. Stand up and touch somebody's hand next to you. We're going to just do a big old giant love chain we gonna all take our energy and connect it come on timekeeper come on are we all linked together you know what we're about to do we're about to send some good vibes to everybody on the planet that's having a rough time right now because right now we're having a good time and we just want to send some good love and some good vibes to everybody that's not feeling so good right now How's that? How's it feel? That's what energy does, and that's why we got to keep ours right. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Let's eat.